This is the case of a woman who came to the Synagogue Church of All Nations with a mental disorder. Due to the violent nature of her condition, she had to be restrained. This is why she was tied to the vehicle and bound both hands and legs with pieces of cloth. You can see from her manner, her appearance and the blood mixed with mucus coming down from her nose, denoting her wild and aggressive behavior. She is not conscious of her actions as she continues protesting frantically. Why are you there? They said I'm mad. Are you mad? I'm not. Huh? I'm not mad. Okay. After her interview, the mental lady's dress became dirty as they struggled to keep her under control. Her husband and sister took her to go and change her clothes for the Sunday service, but due to her increased aggression, she now had to be restrained with a metal chain. <laughs> Look at the way the two people have to guide the woman. There is obviously something not normal about the condition of this lady. The woman is clearly not in a right frame of mind. She is accompanied by two people. Let us find out more from them. My name is Mr. U.D. Moses, age 43. The sister sitting by my side is my wife. She came here with mental disorder and we took her to the government house clinic. That was where she was receiving treatment. But as we see the whole uh, situation, no solution was provided medically. And as we have brought her here, we believe she will be okay. Uh, we can see her now on chain, both hand and leg. Can you explain the reason why you put her on chain? She is somehow violent. Uh, violent in the sense that sometimes when she sees me, she tends to slap me and beat me. And I, I get closer to her, she will refuse, so I will hold her. So the only solution is to put her on chain. Uh, it will refrain her from moving, approaching somebody to cause harm or uh, anything to hit the person. Oh, I believe that God Almighty will give her instant healing as I am, we are here. My name is Etile Olivia Godswill, 30 years old. What is that the problem that brought your sister here? It's mental disorder. We put her on chain because she was very, very violent. Even in the hospital, she slapped the doctor and the nurses that were attending to her. So when we moved her out of the place, she wasn't cooperative. Even the vehicle that we we conveyed her down to this place in an attempt to jump out of the vehicle. So I was trying to block. That was when she now beat my uh, wrist joint here. So it was God that even helped us and we are able to bring her here. So the only solution was for us to restrain her by these chains on the legs and on the hands. I believe that God will use his servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua, to deliver my sister completely from this ill health. This is T.B. Joshua at the prayer line of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. God, please help me. My wife has a mental problem. Please help me. Help. But please, when we are coming, she wanted to jump down from the car, so she beat my hand when we are trying to restrain her. She wanted to jump out of the castle. She wanted to hold her. She bite my hand. She has mental problem. The lady explains that even despite the metal chains the mental woman was restrained with, she was still very strong and dangerous. For when she tried to stop her sister from leaping out of the moving car, she bit her. You can see the deep wound on her arm caused by the bite. There is a mental disorder of a very wide nature. As a result, she has been chained hands and feet. Oh, fine. 
are you? I'm fine. Give me your hand. What's your screen? What's your name? I'm Mrs. Miss Moses. What's my name? Prophet TV Joshua. You know me? I don't know you personally. You don't know me personally? Yeah. This is your first time seeing me? Yes, sir. How do you now got to know my name? God told me that your name is Prophet TB Joshua. And you want to be my friend? Yes. So, you know, I have no chain. I have no chain here. I have yes. no chain here. I want to lose you so that you'll be my friend. Yes, sir. I cannot have someone who has chain, hands, leg, as a friend. Okay? Yes, sir. You would like to be my friend? Yes, sir. Okay. I want to deliver you. So you I get to. Huh? I don't need deliverance. You don't need deliverance? Yes, sir. I don't need deliverance. Please help, help us, sir. Man of God, help us. Help us, please. Help us and deliver us. You say you want to be my friend? Put your hand down. Put your she hand down. Mental. Put your hand down. Yeah, come. Come. Yeah, come. Hug me. Uh -huh. you have Come on. To use my I will. I will. I will. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Mm -hmm. You say what? You want to do? You want me to lose your hand? Yes, sir. Before you hug me. Huh? You want to hug me? Yes. Okay, I will get lose your hand. You are my friend. Okay, give me a key. So you are you hug me now? Yeah? Yes. Yes. You are ready to hug me? Yes. Mm -hmm. That is in the name of Jesus Christ. Watch your screen. Yeah. Please lose it. Lose my friend. Lose me and let me go. Okay. Under the influence of the Holy Spirit, the woman is acting against her own will as God takes control of the situation. Oh yeah, oh yeah, hug me, hug me before delay. Ah. Like a screen. Mm, no. Mm, no. Okay. Lose the leg. Lose the leg. Oh, you are under the influence of the Holy Spirit. The man of God instructs that the chains should be removed from the woman's legs. Regardez votre écran. C'est toi qui venir avec un. Give me a hug. Mm, oh. I love you. Okay. Because the name of Jesus. I'm all right. Okay. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. So go and give her food. Go and give her food. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You go and eat. To God be the glory. The woman has been set free thank from the spirit of mental disorder. Thank you, thank you, Prophet TB Joshua delivers the woman in the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. The woman has been delivered from the problem of mental disorder. She waves and claps her hands as a testimony to God Almighty for her complete deliverance. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Events which seem ordinary may have extraordinary effects in the spirit, much of which is hidden to the natural eye. T.B. Joshua seemed to give the woman an ordinary hug, but the resurrection power of Jesus Christ flowed through him and set the woman free. Her husband and sister each expressed their gratitude to God, shedding tears of joy for this awesome miracle. Now she sits waving her hands and eating freely, something she has not been able to do by herself since the problem started. Look how this lady celebrates her sister's freedom, crying gentle tears of joy, completely forgetting about the bite on her arm. Having regained her senses, Mrs. Mercy Moses, realizing what she has done, pleads with her sister for forgiveness for having bitten her. After she had eaten her fill, she was taken to one of the private dormitories to get some much-needed rest. Glory be to God! Here we can see Mrs. Mercy Moses 
Immediately the man of God, Prophet D.B. Joshua, prayed for her. She was able to sleep peacefully, something she has not been able to do during the time of her mental disorder. When Jesus Christ enters our life, he puts an end to our past and gives birth to peace of conscience, internal joy, security, assurance of life, and ease of heart. Glory be to God. Two years later, Mrs. Mercy Moses returns to the Synagogue Church of All Nations to share the testimony of how she had been delivered from a severe mental disorder and how that deliverance had remained permanent to the glory of God. Regardez votre écran. Nous voyons cette femme qui souffrait de désordre mental être sortie des rangs pour me démontrer qu'elle est complètement guérie depuis plusieurs années, depuis plusieurs. I am Mercy Moses. I was brought to the Synagogue Church of All Nations 2008. That woman that was shown on the screen, that was me. And I'm a nurse by profession. Now, she is here forever. Can you please tell us your name and where you come from? My name is um, Mrs. Macy Moses. I'm from Bayelsa State. I am a civil servant. I'm a nurse by profession. And tell us what was the problem that brought you to the Synagogue Church of All Nations the first day? I was brought here with a case of mental disorder. The first day I was brought here, I couldn't know where I was. I lost touch to senses. Since I was delivered, uh, I can say that I have been okay because I am now myself. I have gone back to work. In my place of work, I have also been promoted to the next grade level. I am relating with my family cordially. I don't have any problem with anybody anymore. I used to fight with my husband during that period. I don't want to see him. But now it's no more like that. I thank God for what God has done for me through the man of God, Senior Prophet TV Joshua. May Jesus Christ's name be praised because he is my healer. So I thank God for using the senior pastor, Prophet T.V. Joshua, to heal me of the mental disorder. Hallelujah. Glory be to God in the highest. And with what God Almighty has done in your life, having had this great encounter with our Lord Jesus Christ, what word of advice or encouragement do you have for people who are listening to your testimony right now? Viewers all over the world, I want to encourage you that... No matter what you're passing through, no matter how difficult your case is, no matter how troublesome that problem has been, no matter how violent you are, especially to those in that previous condition that I was, I want to tell you that there is hope for you. Jesus Christ is there for you. And family members, those who have people who have problems like this, don't keep them in the homes of the abalists. It's only God that can heal. Come to Jesus Christ. May God's name be praised for all that he has done. Today, I am okay. I bless the name of the Lord because he is so marvelous in my life. What he has done for me, my husband could not do it. My mom could not do it. My father could not do it. My sisters and my brothers could not do it, but Jesus did it for me. Jesus, may your name be highly. I will continue to serve you all the days of my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. And the Lord God Almighty has been keeping you going for the past two years after your healing. We know that he is with you and will always be with you. We only want to encourage you to remain in faith in him and to make his word a standard for your life. Because the Bible says those who are healed by Christ's word must be ruled by his word. And we pray that God Almighty will give you the inner grace to make his word a standard for your life so that your healing will be permanent in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today.
and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.